Brother Mike back on the radio. Arizona, welcome to HardcoreChristianity.com. Jezebel, the church monster. Jezebel spirit. I'm going to explain it today from a biblical perspective and from a psychological perspective. If you've got a Jezebel in your church or in your living, you're living with one in your family, well, are you in some deep trouble? This powerful demon is a monster. Have you ever known anybody that had a Jezebel spirit? This powerful spirit is extremely dangerous. If this evil spirit enters your church, you're going to be in extremely dire straits shortly. The spirit is a male and it looks for, most of the time, female humans. And this spirit, this Jezebel spirit, usually always looks for an intelligent woman. And they look for women who had poor father figures and women who have been traumatized in childhood. The reason they're looking for women who've been traumatized in childhood is because they have to be let in to the person by another spirit, and it is the spirit of rejection. The rejection spirit is the most prevalent demon I see in my counseling practice, and it comes from um, abuse in childhood. Abuse, childhood pain, major disappointments, abandonment, divorce, things like that. Trauma in a child opens the door to the rejection demon. This Jezebel spirit is a man hater and a man controller. This spirit wants to be in control. And they're generally speaking psychologically attracted to men in authority. They're not looking for the janitor or the custodian at the church. They're looking for the male at the church who, is, who has authority and who is in control partial control or complete control, the pastor, the associate pastor, board members, things like that. They like men in authority. And they have a tremendous ability to uh, appear holy and repentant and humble in public, but behind the scenes, they are the opposite. They live unholy lives. They will not repent because they've got this rebellion sensation through their, in their spirit, and they are not humble. They're controllers, manipulators. And how they manipulate is very interesting. They use their, usually use their sensuality to control men. They also use public humiliation and sex. They love to control men through threatened public humiliation and through their sensuality and their sexuality. But in their private lives, publicly they appear holy. Privately they are not. The Jezebel spirit is basically a witchcraft demon. They're very religious, they're very spiritual, and they're very much in rebellion. They want to control others, they want to be in authority, and they use deceit and chronic manipulation to do that. And in the book of Revelation, something very interesting was illustrated to us. Jesus ran into this powerful demon a woman named Jezebel in the New Testament church. It's in Revelation chapter 2. Do you remember that? Jesus said, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants, teaching them and seducing them. Now, you see, it's a female who's in authority, who likes control, and who is a seducer, a manipulator. That's the Greek word planeo, and it means, it's a Greek verb, it means to deceive someone. And it says, Jesus says, she teaches and seduces them to commit fornication. That's the Greek word pornuo, it was a Greek verb, and it means to engage in some type of sexual immorality, and in this particular context, it was related to religion and idolatry. And Jesus said, this woman who is teaching, who's in control, who's seducing people, and are uh, teaching them to commit fornication and teaching them to commit religious idolatry. Jesus said, I gave her space to repent. He gave her a chance to repent. What a great illustration of the Son of God. Even this type of a person infected with this type of a superpower demon, he still prefers mercy and still prefers grace to help in time of need. What an incredible Savior and what an amazing Lord you are serving today. If you get involved with someone who has a Jezebel spirit, uh, you are going to at some point in time have thoughts of, my God, I've got to get out of here. And some people will actually pack up and run 
from women who have these powerful demons. These Jezebel demons always have relationship problems. They always have deep-seated self, uh, self-centered self insecurity, poor self-concepts. And these spirits are extremely difficult to get out, uh, will not change and will not repent and will not place themselves emotionally in a position to get healed. They have to be crushed. And so when you turn somebody over to the Lord who has a Jezebel spirit, they won't repent and cannot be delivered from this powerful demon until they are broken. So what usually happens is some kind of terrible negativity comes into the person's life, an accident, an illness, a death in the family, something that really shakes them to the core and then they will repent. If you have a Jezebel spirit and you want to be delivered and you're ready to repent and you've been broken, 602-636-5800. God wants to heal you and deliver you and give you the full power of the Holy Spirit and a true, broken, loving, humble heart. Hi, Saints. It's about 11.30. Um, I left my job 10.30 because I was feeling under the weather. And I just got home and I wanted to relax and I decided to check my email. The six messages I got saying from you guys saying how this witch and she could lie all she wants. This one here uh, bashed my husband. Now she could lie all she wants because she's a liar. She, she uh, claims she never did videos against me, right? A liar. But she did. But here's the thing. She deleted them to make me look like a liar. And I have those videos backed up and so do others. Now she doesn't know that because she doesn't live in my house and neither do the other trolls that follow her and that freak Morales. Okay? They don't know that. I know that and God knows that. And and Mr. Morales, I can associate with who I want. Stop spying on people's channel, you freak. All right. Let's move on. This demon here, okay, this channel belongs to her. And I'm going to go through and show you real quick. This particular channel, um, she slanders Joyce. And who I am friends with is none of you trolls business. And I'm going to make that known. Mind your business. Get a life. I'm going to make that known. Anyway, she slanders Joyce Poole. For simply defending herself, rightfully so. And she slanders my spouse for sticking up for his wife against a freak who did 50 plus videos on me. And then he's got the nerve to sit there and say that I'm cyber bullying him, but yet he did 50 plus videos. And the fact that these people don't see that as a problem is disturbing, is very disturbing. Anyway, that woman. This channel belongs to her. Why? Because if you look at this, the language matches how she composes messages. If you go to this channel itself, there is absolutely no content. It's a fake profile, obviously. There's no Google Plus, nothing. And you go back a couple, a little bit. I'm going to scroll back here. All right, you see how this is in her like videos? Okay, look at this guy. He must have 50 plus videos against me. It's, it's, it's pretty pathetic. Makes 50 videos. But anyway, going back to this witch, and that's right, you're a witch, like the rest of those trolls you follow. Call themselves Christians. Meanwhile, they're sitting there slandering, and they got the nerve to call me and the other watchman a slanderer. Anyway, I wanted to speak on this because when you're going to mention him, that's a problem. That's a problem. He just got on here to defend his wife. And um, like I said, it's no coincidence that you go to this channel, there's no content but those two videos. Um, there's no subscribers, nothing, so it's obviously a fake channel, right? But she's liking the videos, okay? She's liking the videos and... The way that this is written out means it matches her, the way she writes, and it means that it's, it's evident it's her channel. And check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go back here real quick. 
since when is a guy posing as a, since when is a channel called Henry Shaw going to say that another man, another man is handsome? Danny Morales is, is met his match and he tells Daniel just like it is through all of his old year savings. Oh, Daniel Morales met his match and, um, so angry that he tells Daniel like it is. Daniel Morales met his match. Now, since when is this person, okay, going to take an interest in another man? Just the way that this message is written out, you could tell that it's written by a woman, okay, trying to stand up for a false prophet. Does that make sense? Okay. And like I said, it's no coincidence that this channel's fake, has no content, no subscribers, nothing. Okay, so it's obviously a fake YouTube profile, but then this is what you the, this is what the subscribers showed me tonight when they emailed me about this witch, okay? Then you go on her channel and you see that she has the liked video, which means this channel belongs to her. Okay? Um this is the freak that had those sexual comments about me and another sister in Christ, okay? Uh uh uh, this freak exposed him for making derogatory sexual comments towards me, um, and two other sisters, Joyce Poole and, uh, another sister in Christ. Okay. Um, he exposed him and now all of a sudden they're buddy, buddy, whatever. That's how Satan works. Weird. Anyway, going on, going on. You, miss, do not know him. I know this is your channel. Okay, so you could lie all you want. I know you made videos against me and you deleted them. And there, and like I said, I backed up those videos and so did others. So you're a bold-faced liar. You don't know this man. He is a man of God. Why don't you show your face on camera? I showed mine before, but you never showed yours. You sit around behind your little computer trolling other people's channels, much like this freak does too. And if you, sir, can go to people's channels and stalk them because they mention your name, then they have the right to go to your channel as well. Now, I don't stalk your channel. You know what happens? Your channel shows up in my feed. You know how it shows up in your feed for recommended channels? Your channel shows up. And then that's how the videos that you do against me pops up. So what happens is, is that the videos you do on me shows up in my feed on the recommended channels. I don't even have you under my feed. I don't even have you in my channel notifications at all. And as far as from Michael Williams, okay, she is a false prophet. And I had to call her out because she has seven false videos against me. But you take the cake. You have 50, 40, uh, 50 plus videos against me. You need help. You're sick in the head. Sick in the head to make 50 videos on one person. All of them false. And you want to talk about calling people names? You do call people names and you do slander them. You're a sinner just like all of us. Okay? So anybody that comments against you, exposes you, it's because you brought it upon yourself. It's not cyberbullying. 50 videos against me, that's cyberbullying. So we're going to call it like it is. You and that whole group of Satanists like to sit there and comment and bash people. But why don't you call me on my phone number, all you trolls, and tell me all those comments you make directly to my face. Because you won't. You're cowards. Anyway, moving on. Um... This is supposedly a woman of God, right? She poses as a woman of God. So let's take a look at this witch's channel, shall we? And no, this is not proof that I'm stalking. You guys actually notified me about this, okay? You guys notified me about this. You see this? This is Michael Williams. Seven slanderous videos. I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen. These people are psychotic. People are psychotic, a bunch of trolls. 
I have nothing better to do. What did you find out about the horoscope? These people need to know. Okay. Torres, July 22nd, 2013, weekly horoscope. Why would you like somebody that reads the horoscopes? That's against God. And you could sit there and deny it all you want. That's against God. Reading a horoscope? That's against God. That's what mediums do. So you want to sit there and call people a witch, but yet you are listening, liking videos about people reading horoscopes. And what's up with this? Lesbians and ex-lovers? I discuss disconnecting with ex-lovers in the lesbian community. Why do you like videos about lesbians, Miss Lyons? Is it, is it perhaps because you are one? Why do you like videos about lesbians? Huh? So exposed you are. Why do you like videos about people reading horoscopes? Evident you're a witch. Not scared of you, miss. Same thing goes for you. You have something to say? Call me on my cell phone. Call me on my cell phone. Look at this. Weekly horoscope. And you profess to be a woman of God, right? Right? You profess to be a woman of God. Let's go ahead and play a clip of the lesbian video. Hey ladies, so this is Toy with Love Between Two Women, and today's topic is a rather interesting topic, and in the gay and lesbian community, I'm, I'm going to stick with lesbian community, it's a rather controversial topic. So I think this is a topic that we're going to all going to cringe on, and we're going to enjoy at the same time, we're going to learn something out of it. And it is about associating yourself again with exes now let's look at the comments why would a christian woman supposedly be looking at videos of how to connect with an ex in a lesbian community what's up with that you're supposed to be a christian woman but you are liking videos about lesbians and ex-lovers also you're liking videos about psychics these kind of people ladies and gentlemen follow him this jezebel he doesn't think he wants to, he wants to talk about tu no piensa see si yo hablo espanol señor yo hablo espanol i might not have the best spanish but i understand yo entiendo todo that's right. My family's from Puerto Rico, from Puerto Rico. And I understand every word you say in Spanish, every word. So you want to, you want to sit there and bash people, but we're going to bring it out in the open. Look, saints, why would a person that professes to be of God, listen, first of all, to a weekly horoscope and about lesbians? Lesbians and ex-lovers. That's the videos that she likes. Why would you like videos talking about lesbians and ex-lovers? You know, God says that homosexuality is an abomination in his eyes. And you got the nerve to try to talk trash about other people and you're living in sin? And you got the nerve to point fingers at other people? You and... um. Another one, which I already talked about. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you want to know anything about me? You come to me directly. Hold on. You don't know this man, miss. Okay? You don't know him. He's a good man of God. He doesn't know you. All he did was defend me, and I could guarantee you 
He's more man than you and more of a person of God than you ever are. I could guarantee you that. Let's see your face. Unless you look like this, all dried up and old. Okay, and if you think this dude right here is handsome, you got another thing coming. Joyce Poole hit the nail on the head. He does look like Mr. 